Welcome to the CIO update from Emirates MBD. Are you ready for September? As investors, we see concerns as well as opportunities through September as a consequence of a number of important meetings and events as we go through the month. Let's start with central banks. European Central Bank meets this week, not much is expected, but maybe they will say that they're extending their quantitative easing through the whole of next year. Bank of Japan is later in the month. There we could see something that could be market moving. There's a reassessment of monetary policy, which could lead to a significant extension of quantitative easing, but probably no further cuts in interest rates. Something that could be supportive of both their equity market and bring down bond yields that have backed up recently. There's a continuing discussion about what the Fed may or may not do. Data last week was not supportive necessary of an immediate cut in interest rates, but we believe they should get on and do it and not leave it until later in the year. The economy is sufficiently robust and strong in its growth now to be able to support a 25 basis point increase in rates. The other important event as we end the uh, month will be the OPEC meeting and there's been lots of news about this in recent days with Russia, Saudi Arabia and a number of countries which are big oil producers suggesting that they may commit to a cap on production. This has certainly provided support for the oil price and it's continued to help emerging markets and we particularly note the better performance of both Brazil and Russia. In the case of Russia, over the next 12 months, there's maybe much to look forward to. Certainly scope still for cuts in interest rates, and probably government is going to be more pro-growth with a further cut, or sorry, uh, increase in government spending. In Brazil, we've got over the problems of the impeachment of the president and now look forward to a new administration. So if Brazil and Russia are doing well, then the emerging bloc in general will do well. And that increase in oil prices we've seen is also supportive of the GCC markets. And we particularly note Saudi Arabia, where the equity market has been weak of late and where an oil price improvement, I think, after the Eid break, could bring retail investors back to the market. And that uh, equity market could easily rebound 5 to 10%. So much to look forward to, much to enjoy, I hope. And things certainly will change and evolve with more volatility in September than we've seen through the summer months. For more details, please visit our website for details on September and more around what we've discussed today. Thank you.